Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss how to install MinGW in Windows platform and how to use MinGW. MinGW is the minimalized GNU for Windows. We can install MinGW package for enabling our Windows system for running C and C++ programming. In order to install MinGW in a Windows platform, we have to download the downloader from MinGW site. For that we can browse MinGW in a browser. So we can directly download MinGW from website. We can download the web installer from MinGW.org. In this site, we can find the download option. From the download link, while clicking on the download link, the site will forward our request to another site OSDN.net. In this site, we can find MinGW hyphen get hyphen setup.exe. It is a web installer and its size is only 91 KB. We can click on this link to download the exe file. Within few seconds, it will be downloaded in our system. This file is only 96 and 4 kilobyte. On clicking on the installer file, the setup tool will execute. Now click on the install button. Then it will ask for installation directory. The default directory will be c colon slash mingw. Here it is provided a change option. If you are not changing the default location, then we can continue by pressing the continue button. Now the download and setup of installation manager is started. In order to download and set up min GW installation manager, we require an internet connection with the computer. Now it is 100% downloaded. Now we can press continue. Now the installation manager is opened. Here a number of packages are listed in the right side. And description is given here. Here we have a basic min GW installation. Then ADA compiler, Fortran compiler, C++ compiler, then C compiler. So we can choose all the packages from this list. Now we can mark all the packages for installation. Now plus installation, then apply changes. Now again plus apply. Now the Packages are getting downloaded and installed in our system. Now the system is downloading and installing all the packages that we have checked in the package manager. Now the activity is completed. Now we can press close. Now all the packages are installed. Now we can quit the installation manager. Now the MinGW has been installed in our system. Now we are going to set up the MinGW. For that, browse into the MinGW folder. That is C colon MinGW in which open bin. Now we can copy this address C colon MinGW slash bin. It is required for setting the path variable. Now we can open the environment variable by typing advanced system settings. It is residing in the control panel. We can directly browse into system properties and environment variable. Another method is open control panel and search for advanced system. Now we can find system, then view advanced system setting. Then it is same as system properties listed in the right side now we can check advanced system setting the same window is opening here now we are going to open the environment variables in the startup and recovery tab window now we can find the path in the system variables double click for open then press new then paste c colon min gw slash bin then press ok now the path variable is ready now we can close these windows. Now our system is ready with the MinGW. Now we can check whether it is working or not. For that we require to open the command prompt. 
browse cmd and open command prompt now it is opened and we can check the version of gcc for that type gcc hyphen v the version of gcc have been displayed gcc version 9.2.0 Min GW is working in our system. Now we are going to execute a C program using Min GW. So I am going to write a C program. We have to write the program we require an editor. Now we are going to open Notepad as editor. Now Notepad is opened. We can write a simple program. Hash load stdio.h void main then printf my first file printf my first program using gcc then i am going to put some error purposefully in this program as the next step we are going to save the program here i am saving the program as first dot c on the desktop again open cmd now the command prompt is open now open desktop by typing cd desktop then we can compile the program by typing gcc space first dot c along with this line we have to specify the output file also so we are writing gcc space first dot c hyphen o then out dot exe here out dot exe is the output now the program is compiled it has it shows some errors and we are going to change one error Here backslash n is included into the double quotes. Again, one more error is also there. Anyway, we are going to execute once again. Now the error decreases to one. Here one semi column is missing. Then we can edit the program. We can put the semicolon and again then save. Now the corrected program is executing yes the program had been executed successfully now the out.exe is the output program we can execute by typing out.exe it is displayed my first program using in gw in order to exit from the command prompt type exit i hope you understood how to install min gw in a windows platform and how to write and execute a c program in in GW. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you.